What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let me move this microphone closer to me. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with Boost to the Top and another day of double uploads. Uh, this is a new thing for me. I'm going to try to binge make videos, just mass produce videos on the weekend uh, and then slowly upload them over the week. Uh, but we're going for two videos uh, every day. One series six, one series five so I can satisfy all of my viewers. Uh, if you guys want to do me a favor, leave a like in the video, comment down below because every comment helps support the channel. What is your favorite GMAX to use in Series 6? Now we're going to be using a very interesting team from my good friend John Brigg uh, and this is going to be using a GMAX Garbodor. Yeah, Mr. Briggs Garbodor team. It's it's pretty scary. It's like an assault vest Garbodor with stench. And there's actually a clip from last night's stream where I was using this initially. And we actually did get the stench flinch, which was absolutely hilarious. It was really funny. Uh, so yeah, also tonight is the first night of Players' Cup 2 qualifiers. If you guys want to watch me live on Twitch, I'll be going live at 10 p.m. CST. Link will be down in the description for my Twitch channel. 10 p.m. CST is when I'm going to be doing my Players' Cup battles. And if you guys want to watch a practice session, that should be going up later today. Um, on the channel around 5 p.m. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Uh, all right, Joel, your team's a bit scary. It looks like it, it actually looks like Durant food is the thing, but I want to bank on him thinking I'm gonna run Durant and just go with the big Garbodor. Just go with that big Garbodor. Uh, and also, Chandelure is really solid on the lead. Uh, we'll do Chandelure, Clefairy, uh, and I think my last Pokemon, my last Pokemon might have to be Milotic just because it's really solid. But yeah, this team's got a lot of interesting things. It's got Hex Chandelure, which is really scary. Um, and it does disgusting amounts of damage because we're modest. Max special attack, I believe. Let me double check. Let me open up Showdown. Pokemon Showdown. I'm not showing anything, right? Okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> I have the paste right here for the team. But yeah, every like helps. If we can reach 150 likes, I'd be real happy, guys. All right, so yeah, uh, it is max special attack, modest uh, chandelure. So hex is essentially 130 base power because I didn't realize that's actually how strong it is. 130 base power when they're status. That's gross. I thought it was. I could have sworn this thing was 55 base power. No, apparently it's 65 base power, which then doubles if they're status. That is so gross. I might have to build a hex team in the future. Let me know if you guys want that. And I just dropped my controller. <laughs> All right. All right, as he sends out Among Us and the uh, Meow Stick, a little concerning, a little concerning. Uh, he can't fake out my Mon though. I think what I'll do here is I'll just Dynamax up, go for that Malador onto the Amoongus. Because the Malador is going to do a lot of damage, right? Um, how, what is that base power? Because we do have a lot of attack on this thing. Wait, it's only 95? That's garbage. It's pretty garbage, but I want to avoid a uh, flinch here. And we do have a pretty high attack stat. This thing has 172 adamant. So I'll just go for the heat wave. It should do a lot. They can't go for fake out or anything. They might protect trick room, but I think it's more likely they'll want to go for a um, uh, rage powder here. And if they rage powder, I'll be pretty happy with that outcome. Also, my camera's a bit off. Hello, Mr. Camera. Move over. Okay, there we go. Is they actually protect? Okay. Are they going to trick room up? I wouldn't like that, actually. I would hate that. Light screen. Okay, interesting. Uh, so this will actually go through. Do a lot of damage. Uh, heat wave. Unfortunately, we can't poison that thing. But two Maladors into heat wave should do a decent amount. I could actually just go for the Hex into the Meow Stick. Because Hex would definitely KO the Meow Stick here. And I feel like they would rather put my Garbodor to sleep. A Maldor would do more, though. Or uh, Darkness would do more, I believe. So Darkness is 100. This is 95, but it'll lower the special defense. Um, I'll just Maldor once more in case they switch out. Or maybe I switch into something else. I don't really have anything that wants to take this hit. I think I'm fine with possibly going to sleep. 
and just going for the heat wave. See what they go for. They skill swap. Hello? Oh my god. That gives it prankster, doesn't it? And it immediately affects it. I have not seen that, actually. I didn't... I've never thought about that. Because prankster spore is already scary. But once you give it the skill swap... Here's the thing. So, like, dy dynamic speed tiers are new this generation. And they're really scary. Uh, the whole dynamic speed tier thing actually makes skill swap spore a lot more viable. Because it's no longer, oh, I, I might get a spore off. I might get flinched or something. No, now it's like immediate now you immediately get that that's really cool all right we're still gonna malador though malador does do a decent amount of damage uh and i do just want to go for the uh the heat wave i don't mind it really i don't really mind everything going to sleep because they're not going to dynamax anything on the field if they put my yeah if they put this thing to sleep it isn't the biggest deal because eventually i'm gonna break i'm gonna break out of the sleep and just wake up and ko something you know there's the reflect that's fine Because eventually I'll connect another heat wave. That's really all that matters. Garbodor wakes up. They're going to just put me to sleep again. That is in range of my heat wave. So what I'll do here is I'll actually just hard switch into uh, probably one of the more useless Pokemon I have. I want to keep my Garbodor relatively healthy. Because we're still at max, you know. Uh, I'll switch into Clefairy here, expecting them to just spore me. And I'll go for another heat wave because it will KO the Amoongus. And Meowstic is gone after this turn. This will also decreases the damage I take on my Chandelure, which I can live with. Amoogus goes for Protect. I can follow me in Heat Wave and get the guaranteed one next turn. There's the Expanding Force. It's going to do no damage. Oh, that's interesting uh, that they targeted into Chandelure when there was a Garbodor on the field right there. Very interesting. So, something is going to come out here. Uh, luckily, I should be able to remove the Amoongus by just following me Heat Wave. And I'm pretty certain that the fact that it, they, the fact that they go to Spore is actually pretty surprising. I would, I would definitely expect them to have Spored there. Alright, so I'll just follow me. Heat Wave should do it. It's not going to KO the Rotom, but um, I would like to get rid of this Amoongus. They might Dynamax the Rotom. They could also just go for the Nasty Plot, which would be pretty scary. Um, but I could Trick Room on them, if need be. There's the Rage Powder. It seems they're going to Nasty Plot, which means this turn I can set up a Trick Room and outspeed them with everything. Because they're likely max speed. Yep, there's the Nasty Plot. Next turn, I just go for Follow Me and uh, Trick Room. Hopefully they don't avoid my Heat Wave here. That'd be really annoying. Nope, we're still asleep. That is fun. That is fun. Okay, follow me. <laughs> I figured we would wake up that turn. I was really hoping. Uh, I don't want to go for the... <sighs> Dang it. Okay. Follow me, Heat Wave. Unfortunately, we probably can't set up a Trick Room. And they've broken my Sash, which is really annoying. They're going to Dynamax. Hopefully, they go for Max Lightning here. If they go for Max Lightning, they can't put anything to sleep anymore, which is really useful. And if I can get a Trick Room off, I'm not in a bad position. Let's see if they protect. No, they Spore. That's fine. I just have to land my Heat Wave. I think I'm guaranteed to wake up this turn. And Clefairy lives, which is actually really cool, because I should be able to get off a Trick Room with Friend Guard helping me out. There we go. Managed to hit the Amoongus, so that thing's gone. Get a little bit of chip on the Rotom, which is nice too. And I really, really, really want to go for this Trick Room. Um... They're also Water Urshifu. Ah, this might be a loss. Might be a loss, because they're going to go for that Water move into the boy. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to follow me again. Going to get in Milotic. Unfortunately, we don't have like any Protect users on this. 
Gonna get in my Lodic on the most likely uh, electric type move, or a uh, water type move coming out from the Urshifu. Yeah, I definitely need this Trick Room if I want to win. Alright, cool, my Lotta keeps that up. Alright. This turn, I think what I should do is send in the Garbodor. I don't know if Garbodor takes a max flare in the sun. Probably not. Here's what I'll do. Actually, no. No, we're fine. We're fine. Here, here's why, right? If I send in the Garbodor, they are going to go for the water move into the Garbodor and the electric move into Milotic. Hmm. How do I play this out? I think I have to seed bomb the Urshifu to break a Sash. And I just have to hope I'm somehow faster and just Hypnosis them. Because they're not touching the ground. I, I very much doubt that I'm faster than them with my Milotic. I'm pretty doubtful. There's a close combat into the Milotic. Okay, well, we live that. <laughs> we live that, actually. This actually might have lost them the game. I'm surprised they went for that. Uh, the Max Lightning would have guaranteed knock me out. Yeah, and Garbodor may live that. Yeah, okay, so that was pretty good for me. Watch me actually land this. Yep, we landed it. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised they didn't just do the opposite of that. Uh, and now my Seed Bomb's going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Incredible. Light Screen's worn off. And I should be able to do this. I think they're going to prioritize the Garbodor. I'm gonna go for Muddy Water here, lower their accuracy. Uh, they should go for, a, I think, a, a fighting type move into the Garbodor to ensure they KO. Or actually, no, that was dumb of me. That was dumb of me right there. Because they're just gonna knock out the boy. Surging Strikes, yeah. Oh, wait, do we? What? why that do so little? Why is that doing so little? Hello? Did we live? Oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Let me get this Trick Room off. Urshifu avoids. A little bit annoying. Do a decent amount to the Rotom. I'm surprised that that did so little. What? Okay, uh, let me try to Trick Room up. And go for another Muddy Water. I think if Rotom stays asleep and they prioritize the... Um, they did not prioritize it. If Rotom stays asleep, though, and I land this and they get an accuracy drop, that's how I win. Come on. Accuracy drops on both. Accuracy drops? Hello? And no accuracy drop. Okay, so here's the deal. Reflect is gone, electricity is gone. I can put the Urshifu to sleep, but I lose to Rotom then. I mean, who knows? Maybe... <laughs> Dude, why did why did Chandelure take so little from Surging Strikes? Maybe, maybe Garbodor just lives. Maybe. It's possible. Uh, let me just Seed Bomb it, I guess. Alright. I mean, it's, it's gonna KO. I'm pretty certain we don't take less than 36. Yeah, wow, that does that does garbage damage. And I'm using Garbodor, dude. I guess my out is them getting all three turns of sleep and me critting. 
No, they wake up. Alright, good game. Good game. We couldn't luck ourselves out of that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we, we did not get the luck there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm so confused. Why does that do so little to Chandelure? That's weird. Alright. I want to get at least one game where I can click Hex plus Garbodor. This particular video is not about winning. This particular video is about getting to use Garbodor. Because Gmax Maldor is such a fun move. Alright. Um, not quite Garbodor food, but enough where I feel comfortable clicking it anyways. Probably the dark type Urshifu. So I'll go Clefairy, Garbodor on the lead, Chandelure in the back, and I think my last Pokemon may... I want to say Milotic, I really do. I really do. But then we have literally nothing with Protect. Maybe I go Durant this game. Now they're expecting Durant. We'll just bring Milotic again. We'll bring Milotic again. Yeah, this team is heavily lacking Protect. I believe we only have it on um, Clefairy, Rhyperior, and Durant. Actually, we might not even have you know, we might not even have it on Clefairy. I keep forgetting if we do. Yeah, we don't. This team. Oh no, Chandelure has it. Chandelure does have it. Okay, so we have Protect on Chandelure. Durant and Rapier. Those were the three. Those were the three we had Protect on. Okay, this is actually a pretty good lead for me. This is actually a really, really good lead for me. Because what I can do is I can just go for my... I live every hit from this um, Lapras. I'll actually just get some max knuckle boosts on the on the comfy because I don't want to give it its weakness policy yet. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to give it the weakness policy yet. Maybe the poison is better initially. We'll do that. We'll max Malador into comfy. And uh, we'll helping hand that. Just to have it go off immediately. Just to have it like drop, you know, I don't want comfy around too long. Do you guys remember when Comfey got Tailwind? That was an interesting time. Sometimes you would see Tailwind Comfey. It was one of the few Pokemon that got both Tailwind and Trick Room. I feel like my camera's still a little bit off. Yeah, that's good. As they Dynamax the Lapras. Hello, big boy. Alright, let's see if they ally switch. I think they would trick room, if anything. Giga Drain? No, they just go for they just go for the weakness policy immediately. Uh, but I can live with that, because I believe we're going to be faster than that Lapras. And we should just tank hits, especially with this friend guard. Yeah, and Lapras is poisoned. We're wearing it down. This thing is a solid Lapras check. This thing's a solid Lapras check. I have to give it that. Max Resonance. Into Garbodor. It's not going to be doing too much because we have Assault Vest and Friend Guard helping us out here. Critical hit, too. Wow. I was, I was surprised it was doing that much, to be honest. Even though it wasn't that much in the grand scheme of things, like I was surprised it did that much in the first place. I'm hoping not to see an Urshifu because that makes the um, that makes the what's it called? <laughs> well, I can't remember the name of my best Pokemon. Uh, that makes the Chandelure a little bit safer, and also maybe it's not my best Pokemon. Maybe I just maybe I just keep doing this. Check this out. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Helping hand. Helping hand that Garbodor get some damage off on the Ferrothorn. Because they should just be going for the Steel move into the Clefairy here. They might just double into the Clefairy, in, in fact. 
All right, that's in range. I think where another helping handed one may knock it out. Eh, probably not. Probably not. Max Geyser. Into Garbodor will not KO me. And I think we take every hit from that Ferrothorn as well. There's the Gyro Ball doing nothing. So here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm just going to follow me the next hit and go for another Max Knuckle into the um, Ferrothorn. And then I can start Drain Punching that Lapras for health. So we'll Max Knuckle Ferrothorn again. Follow me. It won't knock out the Ferrothorn, but then I can bring in the uh, the Chandelure. Look at these two giant chonkers in the field, dude. Look at him go. There's a Clefairy doll inside of Garbodor. That is terrifying for Clefairy. Run. <laughs> Alright, we knuckle up. Cool. That is 100% in range of Heat Wave. Even behind Rain and uh, Rain and the uh, Resonance. And I'm pretty certain we can take the hit from the Ferrothorn here. Oh! <laughs> we got the Stench Flinch! That's so fun. The Stench Flinch. They never know what happens. They're like, what? What just happened? What What? what just happened? Did you just, did you just flinch me, bro? Did you just flinch me? <laughs> then they get sad. Also, we're Focus Sash, so we just go for the Drain Punch to get all of our health back here. And we Heat Wave. And as long as we don't miss our Heat Wave, we're good. Now, even if we miss the heat wave, we're, we're gonna live another hit. So let me drain punch to get all of this health back, and let me heat wave up. And then I'm gonna click hex on the lapras for the K, and it's gonna feel real, real good. Go ahead, protect. See if I care. I'm gonna hex you next turn. There we go. That is a that is a dead ferrothorn if I've ever seen one. I am so ready to drain punch something. He's only delaying the inevitable. Dude, I can hex it next turn too. I just want to click that powerful hex. Dracovish? Dude. He doesn't even know how much he's lost. I can trick room up actually. I'm going to go for the trick room because it makes my Lotic safer. Um, yeah, we'll drain punch into Lapras. And we'll trick room. Because they should vicious rend. Alright, that's fine. Hydro Pump, he lands it, that's fine. We hex this thing next turn and we go for the uh we go for coils to ensure that we beat Dracovish. Incredible. Alright, and I'm anticipating the Slappers to want to protect this next turn. Their Aurora Veil is also gone. So I'll coil up on it. Actually, I don't want to risk... I don't think we lose by doing this. I'll just hex it. Because they may just freeze dry into Milotic, and I want to ensure that Milotic eats every hit. If I were them, I would freeze dry my Lotic, because under Trick Room, Dracovish does not beat it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, they just go for it into that. That's fine. That's fine. Coil up. This should not be doing much damage. Yeah. As we go first and all that other stuff. The rain's gone now, which is great. They're poisoned. They should be in range of muddy water plus poison. I don't want to take a freeze dry. I think I coil up again. That might be a throw. We have a berry though. I'm gonna coil up again. That might be a throw. I'm sorry guys if I throw another match. <laughs> I have to coil. 
don't do too much. Oh, wow, I forgot I had weakness. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I, I forgot I had weakness policy, but I guess it didn't matter in the end. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot I had weakness policy. They also freeze me, so it didn't matter. Oh well. Well, I upload my losses. I am not a dishonest YouTuber. I will upload my losses. I want at least one win with this with this GMAX Maldar team, man. We were doing fine on stream last night. I was winning some games. Unfortunately, we lost to a really low-ranked player, so we're going to lose a ton of points here. Yeah, I completely forgot that it had free that it had um it had weakness policy, so I was like, yeah, I can take this hit. I'm dumb. I'm big dumb. Ah, 2,000. Okay. I don't like being lower than top 2,000. Like, I can feel comfortable with myself as long as I'm, like, somewhere in the 2,000s, you know? But 2,516? Nah, top 3,000 isn't good enough. Alright, um... This looks like a really, really good matchup for Milotic. It also might be a Durant game. But, man, I really, really, really want to use this stupid... This stupid Garbodor plus Chandelure combo. Alright, we'll do Durant. We'll all bring Durant. Clefairy in the back. And, uh, maybe Chandelure? I think Chandelure wouldn't be too bad in this matchup. Rhyperior as well. Um... I might end up Dynamaxing Milotic, to be honest. Hmm. Let's do this. Um, I think Shanded Lore isn't a terrible option in case they want to go Trick Room on me. I could prevent it. Do I lose too much from leading off Milotic plus Shanded Lore? Not really. We'll just do that. I don't really lose much from that. Okay, cool. That's actually a phenomenal lead. I will take my plus two. There isn't much they can do about it here. Uh, what did they have in the back again? I have to double check. It was like Hydreigon, Primarina, Dusclops, Ferrothorn, I think. Hydreigon, yeah. Dude, they have no way of beating Milotic as, as long as I keep my boy safe. So here's what I'm going to do. Arcanine is not staying in. I will just Dynamax immediately and Max Hailstorm to get it rid of the Braviary. I'll just get rid of the Braviary. And, uh... I'll go hard Chandelure right now, expecting them to want to go for, like, Heat Wave. If they decide to stay in somehow. It just doesn't seem like a terrible play. They're probably going to target into the Milotic, if anything. Yep. It doesn't look like they're Dynamaxing, because they would probably be outspeeding me with both of their Pokemon. And they actually stayed in, so I'm anticipating maybe a Tailwind plus Heat Wave. As they protect, that's fine. They're probably going to Tailwind up. And this thing's gone. While we are losing our Focus Sash from going for the Max Hailstorm, I don't really mind it too much. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, I think that there's probably a Ferrothorn somewhere in the back. And I just have to keep this thing healthy for that. It could be a Salt Vest Ferrothorn with, like, I don't know, some kind of ground move on it. <laughs> But as long as I play this carefully, I should be fine. Pre-Marina. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do here 
is I'm just going to go ahead and max Geyser into Arcanine. I don't mind if a Ferrothorn comes out here. And I can go hard into Clefairy. Clefairy should definitely take a hit. I think the best possible outcome here is they just go for a raw Moonblast into my Milotic and I just eat it. No, Hydreigon. Okay, that's fine. This is still doing way too much damage. And also I know now that I can uh, I can play a little bit more aggressively with the uh, with the Chandelure. So my priority number one here is going to be to follow me and remove the Hydreigon from the field. Because Max Geyser into Max Hailstorm will 100% knock that thing out. And because Milotic is just naturally a specially defensive Pokemon, as long as they don't have Energy Ball, I should take a hit. Yeah, they Max Geyser here. Into the Clefairy, who is going to eat that hit. Thank you. I can follow me, and I'm actually going to go ahead and just focus down this Hydreigon, because it'll force back in the Arcanine, giving me another plus two. And then I don't think there's a way for them to win. They also set up the rain for me, which is really nice. Alright, I'll just follow me here and go for a, a raw max geyser into Hydreigon. That should be safe, and I'll follow me, yeah. Because I think with the rain up, even behind protect, since I'm at plus two, it might KO. It's pretty iffy, but they might not protect. Sometimes Hydreigon are Scarf in this format. I don't think they have a chance of winning right now. There's the Earth Power. I wonder if that KOs. Yeah, it does KO, but uh, I should be fine here. Yeah, he's Life Orb. Okay. Max Starfall shouldn't do... Shouldn't do too much. Wow, that did like nothing. What is your max move? Draining Kiss? Wait, that might be it. If that did that little, that has to be like Draining Kiss. That's gotta be Draining Kiss. You can't convince me otherwise. And now, I, now I'm up to plus four, dude, because the Arcanine's forced to come back out. Alright, um... I want to keep Durant for the endgame. I'll just go ahead and sack the Chandelure. Chandelure isn't too important to winning. There's the Intimidate. Thank you for the plus four. And I can just start clicking Muddy Water. Yeah, they're not going to knock me out with a max Starfall that week. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and Muddy Water up. And uh, I suppose I just... I mean, what do I even do? I just Hex? I could, I, I could Trick Room, but it's not worth it, because Durant needs to be faster in the endgame. They did reveal Protect on the Arcanine. So, they could go for that, but I don't really think it'll make too much of a difference. They just Flare Blitz. Okay, that... I don't think any combination of moves is going to knock out this uh, Milotic here, unless they, like, super crit, which <laughs> doesn't exist as much as I like to pretend it does. Yeah, no. And now I get my Guab Berry. And I just have to land, uh... I just have to land this Muddy Water on the Arcanine. I think that's game. Okay, so uh, I miss it on the Arcanine. I miss it on the Arcanine. That's all good. Their Dynamax is ending, which makes this a little bit easier. Tailwind's gone as well, so I'm going to be faster than them. Yeah, I should be fine. Muddy Water up. Uh, I just Hex once more into the Primarito to ensure the KO, I think. Because Hex did a respectable amount. Arcanine protects, that's fine. I doubled into Primarina. Alright, and we land the Muddy Water. Plus four in the rain. That's doing a lot. Hex should definitely KO from this range. Alright, beautiful. So we'll just Muddy Water here. 
Send in the Durant to tease him a little bit. Just We'll just send in the Durant to tease. As they just forfeit. Okay. So, that was today's boost to the top session. Unfortunately, we went 2 and 1. Uh, I, I really only do 3 battles per boost to the top, so I'm not going to continue to play until my record's a little bit better. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, go ahead, leave a like on the video, leave a comment. Uh, the code for the team is going to be in the description down below if you guys are wondering. If you guys want to support me any further, you can join the Discord, check out the merch. Support me for uh, $1 a month on Patreon. We'll unlock you an extra video every week. And yeah, with that, I'm going to call guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Also, going live tonight with uh, the Players' Cup 2 qualifier. So I'll see you guys there. Have a nice night. Bye.